Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to work on this grunge poster design and as you probably already guessed, it basically follows the style of Apex Legends Season 12 and uh, so let's get started. I got my reference here, so I gathered the like multiple uh, uh, designs from the uh, Google. Just looking at the style, how they build it up and trying to make it uh, similar. Um, so there's like a couple of version here I was looking at. It's always good to have as many references as you can gather before you get into like a, a specific style. Um, so yeah, I was looking at this design and I uh, wanted to create this half tone, distressed half tone effect and also going into these kind of line works, uh, what, we, what they have going on on the logo and then um, I really like this kind of black and white uh, um, uh, landscape design here and uh, I was basically following that as well. So that's how I build up this scene and let's get through the file. Okay, so let's just, uh, all right, here we are. So what we're going to do, I'm going to zoom out and create another artboard. There we go, I'm gonna call this work too. Okay, there we go. And then let's start off with the background. It's pretty simple. I literally just use the solid color and um, I think I have got my color here, yeah. There we go, use this yellow, which is F2, E, F2, E. Okay, that was the closest one. Co uh, I mean, this color, this yellow is um, is a little bit different on each uh, reference image I, I got. But anyway, I think this is this is pretty nice. So let's go with this one. I don't need this. Come off here and just call this background. And then we start building up our grunge pattern. So this is basically a pattern. You could you could have this texture uh, from the internet and stuff, but I was I just thought um, it would be cool to practice how you would do it from scratch. So you don't have nothing. You're just gonna do it for yourself. So this is why I created this um, new layer here. Um, not layer here. New uh, file here. And then this is. Let me just see. It's just 10 pixel by 10 pixel. Uh, actually, yeah, 10 pixel by 10 pixel. And I created this uh, circle, which was basically just a four by four and just placed it in the middle. And after that is done, you can just go to edit and then uh, define pattern. You just save it and then it's all done, ready to use. So because I already done it, I'm just going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this pattern. There we go. And I just want to apply the pattern uh, layer effect, but to do that, you'll need to have something on the on the actual layer. So I'm just going to basically, um, yeah, I'm just going to hit option uh, backspace and it will just fill up my um, canvas here, reduce the fill because I don't need this color. I just need the pattern uh, layer style, which is here. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use the pattern overlay to set to multiply and originally it was in on zero degree but as you can see when you, when i zoom in it has got a slight angle so you need to change the angle to 60 and that's when you will see this same effect and on this uh, specific layer i use 150 percent scale and uh, so you press ok and then you'll need a couple of things you will need a couple of uh, texture which I actually download from uh, texturelabs.org. It's a really good website for textures, free textures. And uh, this guy who's actually uh, uh, doing this website, I think his name is Brady. It's absolutely amazing. You can see some, some of his uh, YouTube videos. It's definitely worth checking out. There's a bunch of things you can learn from him. He's absolutely amazing. So I love his videos and um, yeah, I use his website to get some textures all the time. I really like this one. This is called Grunge 126. And I just download the largest one or the middle one, doesn't matter. You download it and, and use it. I already download it. And um, as you can see here, for example, on this layer, I use that. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm just going to duplicate it. I'm just going to put it on the top. And what happens here, originally I inverted. This is how it looks like. Uh, actually, this is a different file. Let me just open it. 
it doesn't really say anyway i'm gonna include it in the link um uh, in the description so you can find this uh, the point is that uh, you need to invert it so it's going to be black and white and then you need to use multiply blend mode and this is how you achieve this really nice look so once that's done you could you can place this in the group let's call this uh, pattern right and then we're going to do we're going to create a mask I'm going to mask here and i use this cloud brush to achieve this kind of like a mask effect but i'm going to show you how to do that again i use a different website to get some cool clouds this is from pexel.com found this image here and um uh, okay let me just download it again so okay and then I'm just going to basically go to my downloads and then just uh, bring it in here. So once that's done, because it's a smart object, I'll just open it and I'll show you what I do with it to make the, the brush itself. So what you need to do, first of all, black and white, uh, you can go up here, image, adjustment, desaturate it. There we go, here we are. And then you can just apply a level adjustment layer here and just kind of, uh, uh bring in a bit of light and then the back well actually yeah we need to invert it because the brush works the way that it will reveal the, the black part and hide everything which is white so i'm going to press command i to invert the actual image and then start working with this let's see what we have here okay cool all right so i'm gonna bring in the white here like this oh, something like that it's good but i don't need the hole a design here so i'm gonna use the lasso tool just to kind of like cut out what i need this is the section i need basically so i'm going to press command g to um, make that nice selection and then um, i'm going to just mask out i don't i don't want anything really uh i don't want any sharp corners so i'm just gonna basically just I'm going to use 100% and then just kind of like, you know, use like this. Go to select and then press all. It will select the uh, artboard for you. And then you press uh, shift command C, shift command V, and then it will just make a um, basically a duplicate of the actual screen here. And then what we can do is just crop the section what we need. This is what I need here. Yeah, there we go. And then we go to edit, define brush preset. And then you can see this is how it's going to look like. So we'll save it. The only problem is that when you start painting with this, it will just basically be a very, <laughs> it's just very static. It's very, you know, it's not really look anything like cloud or smoke. Uh, to do that, we need to go in to do some adjustments in the, in the brush uh, settings so first what you need to do change the spacing to at least 40 50 percent let's go 40 44 that's fine and then you go to shape dynamics and then change uh, size to 100 percent angle to 100 percent and lastly what you need to do is go to transfer and then make sure that opacity jitter is at 50 percent okay so once that's done we can just create a new layer and then, um, yeah, but doesn't matter if it's, yeah, you can see now it's more cloud-like. So this is basically what we're going to use on our, um, our poster design here. We don't need this anymore. I delete it. And then we go to the mask and uh, use black color. Um, let's go to 75%. Go down a bit with the size. And then you just start basically masking out sections you see so this is how you can uh, press x when you want to add back some so it will basically just turn everything back so you just play with this you know uh, until you find an actual look what you like okay so that's pretty much it okay so this would be basically this grungy uh, background here and what i did i had is um this vignette and the vignette basically what it does is just a normal layer here let's call it 
Oh, really? There we go with that. And again, we're going to just fill this with some color. It doesn't really matter because we're going to remove the fill anyway. And in the layer styles, you can add uh, inner glow and make sure that the inner glow is uh, set to black. There we go. And then just, let me just turn it on 100% and just add some here. Right. There we go. Okay, this is very strange. Okay, the problem is I think what we have here that um, it applies to both artboards. So you have to create a, a new layer. Okay, so this happens sometimes when you use multiple um, artboards. So all you have to do again, go up to select all and then fill up, fill the, the, the layer up with color and then remove the fill and go back and apply the inner glow now and now you will see that it will be different let's go back to black and then just bring up the size so you'll see it coming in on the side as well which we didn't have before yeah, i'm just gonna go with something like that and then uh, let's play with the blend mode i like to test out the uh, hard mix yeah hard mix is nice with the 50 percent opacity it's great you know now you can see like how it just basically strengthens the 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 half tone effect just on the on the corner there so that's pretty good i like that okay let's move on to the next step which is going to be basically the text effect here and i use uh i think it was yeah i know i know i know okay let's just um text to black and white and then just this nice grunge, of, uh, grunge effect here, what we have. Okay, so what we do, we'll just create a text saying grunge, and I use the text da uh, Dharma Gothic, and then uh, bold. Let's use the size like something like huge. Yeah, something like that. A bit of spacing is fine. Um, actually, I'm just gonna go back to zero with that one. Anyway, so when we have once we have this here, um, what I like to do, uh, I use this texture what I was telling you about uh, before this one here. So I download it and I have it here. So as you can see, what I like to do with the this texture, I just turn it into. Um, uh, a smart object okay first of all and then press command i just to invert it and then uh, you can press command l to um, just basically darken the black and then darken the white and uh, there we go i think this is really nice i like this and then you press ok and go into the edit and then define pattern just save this as a pattern okay and uh, um, I'm not gonna save it because I already saved it uh, but this is one thing I normally use and just like to use it basically on the, on the actual text effect as a stroke so it goes outside three pixel and change the field type to pattern and then bring in this very same uh, grunge pattern snap to origin and then change the blend mode to multiply and then you can see it's really nice it just gives this rough edge uh, re and remove to maybe two pixel one pixel it's very subtle but it's, it's, it gives this really cool grungy effect okay once that's done let's save this file and start adding these very famous apex legends cuts okay so the way you do it you can just go and um, use the same and let me I'm, I'm just going to invert it back this one remove the level anyway so I just cut out part of this design especially what I'm looking for is these nice uh, scratches so what I did I literally um, yeah we can update it now so basically I took this section here and then I just play with it and I made it as a brush preset. So just remember that you need the things you want to see. It always has to be black. So in this case, uh, we need to invert it. 
So convert to smart object, press command I just to invert it, and then uh, press command L to go to the levels, and then just bring in the black, because that's what we're going to see. Uh, and then, yeah, this is really nice. This is really, really, really good. And then when you, when you go to edit, now you can define a brush preset and you see it's just going to be this cut here. I'm going to press OK. And now we can add a mask to, the, to our text, right? And then just go in and then uh, just add the same similar, you know, cuts. I like to follow the angles, like I'm just going to hold down shift and then with the arrow you can uh, rotate this brush. Let's see like this. Go up to 100% black. And then on the layer mask, you just uh, basically just uh, uh, mask out sections, you know. And then there's some parts of it you can you can you can you can repeat like this, like following like that. Okay, and then maybe something like uh, this way. Okay, like this, and uh, like one here. Okay, and then turn it around like that. So you, you get the idea. So that's how I made that basically cut out. Um, I do not like these uh, these extra bits here. So you can just use a normal uh, soft round brush, something small size, and go back and paint it back with uh, with white color. So you'll just basically go and and remove these. Uh, good to use the maximum hardness so you can see it's, it's really cool like that so yeah I don't want to see these I don't want to see these these dots some of them is good but not all of them you know it's way too much so I'm just gonna remove all, all of this I don't want to see it here I want to have it like that yeah that's great there we go something like this works fine yeah okay cool you get the idea yeah like that uh, another thing what we have here is just some part of the text is basically must out so for that I actually what I did here I cut out another section of it which is basically this here as you can see this here and I did the same thing it's just basically invert it with command I and then uh, command L to bring up the levels and then just um, make sure that the black is really uh, dark and then you can just basically I, we don't really need all these extra details so we, the last so too you can just uh, go around the sections you want to keep and just leave out the sections you don't want to keep uh, right click select inverted and then well, actually we don't even need that we can just come on J and then it will just save a copy, um, create a new layer of it. Go to edit and then define brush and then it will just create this nice brush here for you. And then we can go back to our poster and uh, go to the sides we want to remove and then just with black color, you can just, you know, play, you know, play with it. I don't really like that. We can hold on shift and then with the arrow we can just uh, rotate it a little bit. Uh, there we go, like this. Rotate it like that. Yeah, there we go. You can also paint in sections of it. That was another thing I used here. This was my last uh, brush I created for this project. And then it's basically this section here and what happened is yeah this one here so again what I did is just command I to invert it command L to adjust the level bring the black in there we go yeah and then just go edit and then again define pattern um, sorry define brush preset press ok go back to your design and uh, with this one change the size to something small right and then you want to use white color so you basically paint those in actually no no wait we're going to create a new layer 
and then we're going to add it on the new layer like that okay but i'm not happy with this brush i i uh, my other one was much better not this one not this one not this one and not this one i think this one here yeah so we can just go down like that and just paint in some some small you know maybe smaller than this something like that you know paint into some places you know like that yeah cool not that i do this maybe hmm, not sure anyway you get the idea so that's basically i uh, how i did it i do not like it here so i'm just gonna uh, delete it don't want it just a tiny bit like that okay good so that's basically the text effect and let's move on to our soldier and the planes here so what i did these ones again coming from this website called uh paxel you can see here i got yeah i got the clouds from there this military guy uh which i found really interesting so let's see how you turn those uh into uh, this black and white half tone effect kind of uh, design. So what I did here with the, there we go. Let's find our guy, not this one. I don't need this anymore. Uh -huh, this one here, I think. No, not that one. This was the cloud. Okay. Yes, this is the one. So what I did here, it was very interesting. Uh, I just basically press select subject so it made a really good selection I just go around use my lasso tool and then just hold down shift to add and then just you know just um, get the things add the things you need uh, you want to see like this one here right I just remove this I don't want that and I just go around the design and just check what's happening and then hold down shift use my lasso tool to basically add the sections I want to see and then remove the sections you don't want to see like this one is i don't like that so we can hold down the option key and that will basically take away parts of the selection and then hold the shift to add to your selection okay so you go around your design okay this section here is not good shift and then just add it in here as well on the top and this one here hold down option so it will you can see how it changes the lasso tool when you hold and I hold an option and it will have this small minus next to the lasso and then when I hold shift it will be a plus so you get the idea anyway we got this fix the nose bit of nose job okay there we go add this section here and it's all done so I'm happy with this and then with command J I will just create a new layer of this selection but we still need the smoke with the smoke what i did i went foot back to the original layer and just kind of go around this section here right separately make another um, layer with command j we can remove this or turn it off and then we have to play with this okay first of all we need to desaturate this layer let's desaturate it and then we have to press com uh, command l for the level adjustment layer and just start bringing in the blacks and then uh, strengthen up the 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 smoke so i'm just playing with these here until i can see a really good selection or a really good dark areas for the sections i don't want to see and then white for the things i want to see and then once that's done you can go up to the select and then color range and then just basically just um, select the smoke Okay. Again, uh, this selection will basically uh, take the whole whole uh, uh, whole file into account. So I don't think I want that. It doesn't really bother me because I can just use my lasso to hold down command and just remove what I don't want to see, and then that's it. And then from this point, we can just command J for the smoke, and then there we go. I do not like this black kind of mating on the side but what i do double click color overlay and then just change it to white and then it will remove it so there we go so that's how it's uh, i've done that and then again this layer here let's turn it to smart object 
go to image and desaturate it we cannot do that so we have to find another way um okay let's just start adding some some uh, adjustment layer so one of them is black and white and then we hold an option between the two layer so we will clip it to the actual uh, design we want to desaturate you can see if i can remove it there we go so that's all good there's another thing i like to do because i want to have a little bit more posture you look and less less photograph so what i do i just create a solid color in between and i just go here and then just Change it to 808080, that's basically 50% uh, gray. And then what we're going to do, we're going to use hard mix. And um, yeah, that's pretty good, but we need to change the fill to about 40, 50, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Actually, I don't really like this, so I'm just gonna go up like somewhere here, yeah. Yeah, I like this one better. This is much better for me. Uh, so I'm gonna go back and the smoke as well. Go with the smart object and then duplicate layer to the poster apex and then artwork work too. There we go. Go back to our design. And there we go. Oh, I really like it. How is it's quite big? I like this. Actually, this looks really good. Uh, just like to basically move it to the side a tiny bit like that. Maybe not. Maybe this is better this way. Okay, let's just leave it like this for now. Okay. Uh, yeah, the other thing is like I wanted to basically just wash out uh, the contrast a little bit. So the way I did it is uh, just go with the levels adjustment layer. And again, here with the black, just pull it in a tiny bit. The white, white the same, just a tiny bit, just pull it in. Okay, so there we go. Let's save it, go back to our design, and um, okay, <laughs> one more thing I forgot to add some cool noise effect. Add noise, and then monochrome Gaussian uh, amount four, and then press OK. You'll have this really nice kind of a uh, newspaper look okay so that's good i like it i like it okay another thing we will do is to add our pattern oh uh, yeah yeah okay but i don't want to see the pattern on the smoke so i have to go in and just basically add it to our guy here so let's just add to our guy here we are uh, and yeah we can use multiply yeah that's good uh let's go to 100 there we go no 75 was actually better there we go oh let me go back just i want to see a couple of things yeah to be honest overlay feels better and let's go with like 50 percent soft light Hard light. Just going to check these out. Mm. Oh, your vivid light looks really good as well. You know, going with 50. Yeah, I don't think so. 75. Yeah, this this kind of looks good. I like it. So I go back. Yeah, like that. I wonder what I was using here. Let me see. Pattern overlay. Here we are. I got. I used overlay on fifty percent and scale fifty. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Let me try that. So instead, we will like we go with overlay. Mm hmm. <clears throat> and fifty percent. There we go. And then uh, seventy-five. Was it seventy-five or fifty? Let me see fifty. Hmm. Oh, let's use it. Okay. I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of black back. Playing with it a tiny bit. Okay. I think um, I made it a bit too washed out. 
yeah, it does feel better. Uh, yeah, we can go back a tiny bit, adjust the contrast still, like that. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so we got this here, um, which is going to be, I'm going to change the size a tiny bit, like that, move it to the side, there we go. Okay, so basically, it's it's the same story with the, with the planes, so I had my uh, plane here, I was super lucky with this file, because it's just literally you know select subject and then just uh, command j to multiply it you know um to duplicate it and then i moved it to smart object and uh, put it on the design here and let's change the size to something smaller uh, let's go with 20 for now uh, rotate it or flip it horizontally there we go i'm just going to do like this okay just to speed things up a tiny bit okay so what what i did here is 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 ah, come on okay it's it's the same thing uh, first of all we need to desaturate it so we can just go to uh, add a, a black and white uh, overlay here and then we can also add a level adjustment layer so we can just go and um Add a tiny bit of, um, increase the white, and there we go, uh, increase the black, but also reduce the strength, so just kind of wash it out, like that, okay, and um, like this, let's see, yeah, like that. Yeah, something something like this okay and then we can just add a stroke which is again um, going to be color white normal uh, outside and just uh, let's go with 10 pixel and then just press ok uh, again we can we can go back and add a noise which I'm just going to basically uh, use the same settings what we used before Okay, press OK, and then again we're going to add the pattern overlay and change the scale to 50. Um, let's say 40. I'm gonna change it to 40. Yeah. And another thing you can do is just basically uh, take make a duplicate of this uh, design, change the size to smaller. Let's say like. 8% and move it to the side and uh, remove stroke, remove pattern overlay, remove the noise and just add a covered coral overlay which is going to be 100% black. Okay, so you will get that uh, cool little look. And then the last thing I'll add these uh, lightning kind of uh, shapes. Um, so I'm just going to steal the color from here. If I find it, here we are. Mm, okay, good. So basically what we did here is, um, I'm just going to add it here. Shape, got it there, perfect. Okay. Uh, so I don't really, I want to add some, some adjustment layers to this because it's just too sharp. Uh, so first of all, uh, stroke, which is going to be outside, uh, maybe something subtle, two pixel. Gonna use the same color, but going to change to, um, um, the uh, the blend mode to dissolve, right? And then just going to remove it, something really subtle like ten. So it will just give a tiny bit of distress on the side here. You see like that okay and then going to add an inner glow which is going to be let's go with normal for now okay because I want to see how 
on the effect okay so i'm gonna remove this just want it on the on the on the, on the edges here and then the noise i'm going to increase to something like 20 and then remove the opacity to about something like 15 or something like something really subtle okay all right yeah i'm happy with this and then it's just in case um it's just a case of like uh rotating this design and um uh, changing the size you know let's say you know the left and right is going to be smaller so i duplicate this and flip it horizontally so i will have this maybe i'm gonna rotate it a bit more like that yeah something like this and then the large one's going to be in the middle rotate it a bit oh that's too much I like that yeah and then just move it up somewhere here okay so here we are and um, this is how I basically build this design and uh, this is the, the final look and uh, again this is basically inspired by um, uh, Apex Legends season 12 I really like how the, the new design for this season it looks it's really awesome so it just inspired me to do this work and i hope you like it if you do and you haven't subscribed yet please do Pre press the like button because basically that's the only way to support the channel to reach more people and uh, it would be really awesome to see the channel grow okay thank you for watching bye bye